Hello everyone, welcome to 10 Taste Tour. Today we will be making a classic tiramisu cake which is super delicious and for coffee lovers it's a yes yes. This recipe calls for French lady fingers which for which you will find the recipe in the link above or if you get it in a nearby store then this is a no bake recipe for you guys. Let's get baking. This decadent dessert is a perfect combination of vanilla, coffee and rich, creamy whipped mascarpone cheese. You will need about 30 to 32 pieces of these lady fingers for this recipe. These are also known as sour yardo. Take about 1 cup of boiling water and to this add 2 tablespoons of instant coffee powder. If you prefer a strong or bitter taste then use some other coffee powder which is strong or you can use espresso as well. Mix it well. You can also add in a couple of tablespoons of coffee liquor or, or brandy to this to enhance flavor. Set this aside and let it cool down completely. Take around 4 egg yolks and add 3 4th cup of sugar to this. Remember eggs should be at room temperature. Now we will keep this bowl on a double boiler. I have taken a boiling water in a saucepan and on this I will place this bowl and then we will mix the mixture of sugar and egg yolks. Uh, we do not want to cook these eggs so make sure you either whisk it or use a stand mixer and stir it continuously. The sugar in this mixture won't be dissolved completely. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, later when we are blending things together it will get dissolved. Just remember the mixture should turn light or pale yellow in color. If at all you feel that uh, the mixture is becoming thick, you can add about 2 tablespoons of milk to this. Keep checking the temperature. It's done when the temperature is around 69 to 70 degrees Celsius. Once it's done, transfer it to a different bowl so that the mixture cools down quickly. While this is cooling, take some heavy whipping cream in a bowl. I am using a stand mixer here. To that, we will add some vanilla essence and then beat it until it becomes thick. In between, I will add about 2 tablespoons of sugar to this just to get a little sweet taste to the whipped cream. You can also use egg whites instead of whipping cream. I prefer whipping cream because it gives a much better texture and flavor and also it holds shape. Whip the cream on a high speed. We do not want to over whip this cream. Whip only until we get stiff peaks. Another way to know how uh, the whipping cream is ready is just invert your ball and see the whipping cream should not fall down or it should not move from the bowl. Once this is ready, we will combine all the ingredients together. For this, take uh, room temperature mascarpone cheese. It should be at room temperature because we need to cream the cheese and then we will whisk it until it, is, it is mixed very well with the egg and sugar mixture. Once this is done, you will see that it uh, starts holding some soft peaks like I am showing here. Then we will slowly add in the whipped cream. In the first batch, I have used half of the whipped cream. So we will make large folds in a circular motion and then go right through the center. So circle and center, circle and center, that's how you fold it. And make sure you scrape down from the bottom as well so that no egg mixture remains in the bottom from being mixed with the whipped cream. 
we want the texture and the shape to remain intact so don't over mix this the whipped cream should not deflate in this process it takes about 5 minutes or so for everything to come together once this is done you will see that the cream holds its shape when you pick up this spatula that's how you know it's ready i'll keep it into uh, the refrigerator for about 5 minutes before we assemble the cake once everything is ready we can assemble the dessert together to start with dip the lady fingers into the coffee mixture we don't want to over soak it so dip from one side for 2 to 3 seconds turn it then soak it for 2 to 3 2 to 3 seconds and then place it on the sheet or the tray you are using then using a piping bag i will spread the frosting on top of this lady fingers you can also use a spatula to do this once this is done i'll use a spatula to spread the frosting evenly cover the ends and the edges with the frosting and then dust some cocoa powder on the middle layer this part is optional as you can see the frosting holds its shape really well so you can decorate the cake any way you want so ideally this is served as a dessert but when you can then why not make a cake out of it on similar lines complete the second layer as well and on top of this again another layer of uh, lady fingers would be placed so this length of this cake is about 11 inch by around 7 inch and has it has three layers of lady fingers and cream cheese frosting layer the lady fingers such that most of the area is covered so that in each bite you get the taste of vanilla as well as coffee and also frosting okay so for the last part cover the entire cake also the sides and the top with this mascarpone cheese frosting it will hold shape so don't worry about it After everything is covered only the top part we will dust it with some cocoa powder this is unsweetened cocoa powder that i am using once it's ready keep it in the refrigerator either in the box or in a deep tray which can be covered with lid do not keep it open as it can become a uh, hard on the outside The longer it stays in the refrigerator the better it will taste. I prefer to make it a day before and keep it in the fridge so that the flavors are enhanced. And you should serve this chilled. Sure you guys you will love this recipe and it will be a star of your party for sure. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye.